All right, everyone. So I want to talk about a little bit more extra on the masking. I realize I haven't talked about this. Uh, you hold down Control plus left click on the scalp of the mask area to soften the mask. Soften the mask, and then you Control Alternate left click on the edge to sharpen the mask. So Control left click will soften the mask. Control Alternate left click will sharpen the mask. So let's have a look in uh, ZBrush. Okay. So if I Control Press Control to create a mask area. So if I press Control plus left click, tap, 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 I would soften the mask. Control Alternate left click, I would sharpen the mask again. So I can make it very sharp. I can make it very soft. Control left click, soft. Control Alternate left click, sharp. Control left click, soft. Control Alternate left click, sharp. Okay. So I uh, hope you learn well in this uh this few lessons here. Uh, ZBrush can be a bit tough at first. Give it some patience. It will quickly become one of your softwares, favorite softwares. Practice, practice, and practice. Have some fun. Uh, it's very organic. It's very uh, it's every very fun to play with. If you're not having enough fun, practice more. It's lots of fun. <laughs> okay. So uh, some bonus uh materials that maybe I want to go through. Uh, it's located behind over here. And uh. I'll just go through very quickly because uh, it's not actually part of the important materials. So basically, basically UI is located here, UI hotkey is located here. So if you didn't know the first uh, one of my first tutorials where I show the custom hotkeys and refer to here again, the full path and then customizing your own interface. If you want to know how to customize your interface, you can go to preference. So once again, I'm going through very fast because uh, you just need to roughly know. If you don't need to know, it's okay also. So preference, enable customize, and you can press uh, auto, control button drag to just drag any buttons on your on your window. You can so for example, delete hidden, close holes. I actually go to tools, geometry, modify topology to drag them out, to put them on top, and then I went to preference and I press save UI. I press start UI and then you'll be able to save your custom UI. Okay, so if you want to assign a hotkey to a brush, this is also what I did. You press uh, open up your brushes and then you have uh, enable custom on mice on. You press control alternate left click on a brush palette and then there's this pop up here and then you assign any hotkey combination, you will assign it as a hotkey. So that's what I did uh, and then I went to preference hotkeys, save hotkeys and then I save it as my brush. So next time when you are more advanced, you can look more into this. Okay, okay. Uh, I think that's all I have and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.